out in Chicago, and Sergio Pettis is going to get brought out to do the job. He's going to have to get beat up by Pitbull. And it, this was an unforeseen ass whipping coming towards Sergio. It's, you know, Pitbull was not in the weight class. Patricia Mix is standing there waiting. Patricia Mix is fired up, man. He's huge, too. I, I was with him in an elevator ride, man. Mix, oh, he's all big and strong. You know, whenever you see Mix fight, you always think of that length. We talk about that as commentators. We talk about the length that he's got, the leverage that he can possess. Got a lot of muscles to go along with that. I'll tell you what. So, Pitbull decides he's going to come down to 135. Well, that ruins everything. Every, everybody's now everybody's now bumped a spot to make Pitbull make 135. This becomes a bigger story in the fight, right? What, like, like, we know Pitbull can beat Sergi. We know Pitbull can become the champion. The question is, can Pitbull make the weight? All right. So, this thing's selling, man. Th this thing is drawing. These tickets, it's sold out. I brought my family out there. I had to call in favors to get tickets that weren't even for sale. That's, so, did I tell you sold out? Right, because different promoters have a different expression for sold out. My my term, when there's no two tickets side by side, I believe an event sold out. So I just don't believe very many people go to an event by themselves. So when you can't get two seats side by side, that's my definition. But the most appropriate definition is when the fire marshal says, we're at capacity. You legally cannot bring in another person. So, but that's where we were. That's where we were for this Bellator. There was no room for any more people. All right. Pitbull comes to the ring. He's got his music, man. He's it's fired up. He's got the look. He's just, he's just got it. He just does. Pitbull just has a presence, okay? This is the same Pitbull that fought and defeated Michael Chandler to put a perspective for you, because there's two. He's down to 135 pounds, but he's moving around pretty well. Now it's time. It's time to bring out the kid. And see, that's one of the perception issues within this sport. Sergi is a kid. He's the kid brother of Anthony. He's the kid brother of the multiple-time world champion. He's the kid brother of the guy who was on the covers of the Wheaties box. And so you think of him like this. You just think of him like this. You, th you think it's going to be a boy against a man. And when they walk out, it still looks that way. But Sergi, there was something different. And he came out in these golden trunks. And they were not MMA shorts. These were boxers' trunks, and they were gold. And with his complexion, he looks so cool. <laughs> he looks so cool in there. And his brother is in the front row cheering for him, which kind of added as like an extra corner man. And you know, Anthony's always the sharpest dressed guy. He's got the cool glasses, the whole bit. And here they are. But it was that moment. It was looking up in that moment where I thought, man, Kid Brother's not a kid anymore. Kid Brother's the champion of the world, which means Kid Brother's the baddest dude in the world. There's a reason that Kid Brother got walked out second, because he was the man. And it was just such an interesting display to see these two fight. Oh, by the way, you know, a big part of this for Pitbull, if Pitbull had won this, you'd have to call him the greatest pound for pound to have done it, right? You'd have to. You're, you're now not in a debate. You're now not in a choice. He would be champion. He would be champion. He would be champion. And in defeat... I'm not sure you're off the hook. I mean, if you want to be a dick about it, you don't know how he fought over here and here. So he fought, I mean, there's ways you can be a jerk for sure. And we're jerks all the time in sport, right? I, I get that. It would have been hard. It would have been hard to be taken with credibility and not gone to Pitbull. And you know what? Even in defeat, it might be Pitbull. He got it, he got it, right? We understand that. Now the question is, can he get it again? He got it, he got it. He got as close to getting it again. He didn't win a single round, but he was out there fighting. And he got hit and he got touched and he took on a guy that had some of those beautiful combinations in Sergio Pettis. Pitbull didn't fall down. There was only one takedown in the whole match. Pitbull got it, right? I mean, this game ultimately comes down to I hit you and you don't hit me, right? That's this game. It's not stand and trade. I touch you and you don't touch me. That's what Sergio Pettis did. That's what Pitbull had done to him. That's all he had done to him. I mean, not for nothing. I... He got it, got it, and he wanted to get it again. He got it, got it, and he got real close to getting it again. Pitbull still, for me, he still goes down as one of the greats.